Okay, sorry guys, we'll start again. Bring the elbows all the way into the waist. Lock them in, do not move the elbows. If you want a little bit of extra body work, you're gonna take yourself into a gentle little squat. Here we go, and pumping it up, one. And we're gonna go slow on the way down. Pump it up, two. Slow on the way down. Think about the two contractions that are happening. We've got bicep, and we've got tricep. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Is that the last one? Nine. Ten. Last. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Give them a shake out. Turning the palms slightly towards the body. Taking another slight little squatting position. Bring it up. One. Two. My palms are facing my chest. Three. Four. So I'm doing it like that, maybe. Five. Six. Seven. My palms are facing away. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good morning, Arantxa. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Good morning, Paul. Grab your heavy weights, please. We're doing biceps, so go the heaviest you can possibly handle, please. Eight, nine, ten. Rotate your arms out to the side, keeping them slightly away from your body. So your shoulder caps are working the whole time. Find your little squatted position and pump it up. One, two, three, four, five. So remember that arm is just off the body, so the shoulder has to work. It's not resting anywhere. Belly's back. Okay, here's a good opportunity for those of you that like that diaphragm lift. You can do a little bit of a diaphragm lift now and it kind of just takes the load off everything because your diaphragm is pulling everything else up. Pump it up. One, two, three, 
three, bellies back, four, five, six, seven, hammer curl pull, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, keep those elbows in, six, seven, oh, I'm starting to feel my biceps now, ten, nine, ten, try not to swing, one, which is what I'm wanting to start, starting to want to do, two, three, oh, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, this is my first time doing it on a 1.5, I will say that I've never done this amount of repetitions with this heavy weight before in my life. How many is that? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And rest. Okay. We're going to do a series of four different exercises. Elizabeth, there is a lunge in there. I get confused whether you can do the lunges or you can't do the lunges. If you cannot do the lunge, I will just get you to maybe do a tricep exercise while we do the lunge. But we'll take it, take it slow so you can work out at what point that is. We're going into a wide position, as wide as you can. We're going to take our arms up. We're going to take them out to the side slightly. We're going to roll the shoulders back, drop the elbows forward. Make it a little bit more like a W, Nikki. There you go. And we're going to do a slow squat, sumo squat. One. Squeeze it up all the way to the top. Two. Squeeze those glutes. Three. Four. Five. Again, now's a good time to use that diaphragm lift. Takes the weight off the legs. Eight. How many should I do? Nine. Ten. Twenty more. Change positions. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, is that 30? Seven, eight, hello girls, nine, ten. So what you've missed out on so far, come to the side, is about 60 repetitions of different bicep curls, which you can make up at the end. Heavy weight, Esmeralda. Woo. Resting. Okay. We're now going to go a tiny little squat position with the legs tiny, just like someone's broken the back of the knee. We're going to slide and glide the leg weights down. My, the weights do not come away from my body. They're touching all the way till I get to my kneecaps. My back is in an extended position. I then pull myself up. So my back doesn't change from being extended. My legs slightly bend. I'm looking directly forward, so my chest is out. And then I'm gonna pull back up using my hamstring butt connection points. So it's not this. Okay, it's a forward tip with the body. Deadlift. Okay, here we go. 30 reps. And forward tip. Squeeze from the hamstring butt connection point, squeeze your glutes. Two. Squeeze from those hamstrings. Three. Squeeze those glutes. Four. Now, I don't know about any 
anyone else, but from the Thursday class, guess who is sore? Not just me, Mandy. <laughs> Can you believe it? I got her sore from doing my rehab class. Her glutes have been sore for two days. <sighs> Very proud of myself. She was like, I don't know what I've done to make my glutes sore. I'm like, my Pilates class. <laughs> Keep it up, we've got 30 repetitions. Squeeze in those glutes at the top. Give it a good little nudge. Keep trailing those weights down the legs. How many is that? Two, we go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's the lunge bit, Elizabeth. You could alternatively, Elizabeth, if you don't want to do the lunges, you can start going into your tricep series. We're going to do this twice. So we're going to repeat everything we've just done, we're going to do it all over again. So you might want to do double arm triceps and single arm triceps. Wide position please, twist into your lunge. Remember when we do a lunge, we never let this knee go forward. This knee always has to be aligned, perfectly aligned with that foot. We're going to go arms up next to our shoulders. Squeeze the glute to the back. So my left leg is squeezing. We're going to drop down slowly. One, squeeze it on the way up. We're doing these for 10 and we're doing them slow. Two, squeeze, three. Now here is a good opportunity for you to get a psoas stretching. This leg, you can be stretching at the same time. Four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now I'm going to be particularly nasty. Nine. Don't come up from this one. Ten. Take your arms out in front of you. Bend your elbows. Hold. There. Elbows aligned with the shoulders and pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know the repetition is thirty-nine. Ten, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, oh. Crikey, that was intense. As I said, everything seems so lovely when I write it down on paper and then I attempt to do it in front of you. Twist it, tuck it. Let's take our arms back to, let's take them to our chest. Hold both weights together and drop down. One, and two. Three, squeeze that glute. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down, take your palms out in front of you, turn your palms to you. Pump it. One, two, squeeze your glute. Three, Four, push into your hip flexor. Five, six, squeeze that glute. Seven, eight, try to lift it here. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. 
Grab your yoga blocks, please. Heels up on the block. We're not going all the way down. We're going a little one. We can hold our weights here. So we're flexing our biceps still. Squeeze the inner thighs. Bend the legs a little bit. Squeeze the glutes. It's a little drop down. One. Because we're going to come back and do these again and we're going to go further down. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze all the way up to the inner thighs. Five. Pelvic floor. Six. Seven, another space where you can do a little diaphragm lift, make it all easier. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, wide position, sumo squat. <sighs> Arms up, wide position into a W, squat down slowly, one, squeeze up, two, squeeze, three, four, five, Six, lift through the diaphragms. Seven, give yourself space. That's what the diaphragm lift does. It gives you space from here to here. How many is that? Five. Of oh, the second round. me is when I do go pink, it takes me a long time not to come back to being my normal colour again. How many more? Eight. Nine. Ten. Deadlift. Slightly bend the knees. Trail the legs. Down, keep your backs nice and stretched and straight. Trail it, Trail it down the legs. <laughs> and squeeze it on the way back up. One. Squeeze it up two. Squeeze those little coconuts. Three. Four. Georgia, try to keep your back extended. So rather than squatting, the back hinges. Dick, 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 dick. That's it. That's better. And just keep the weights attached to your legs, Georgia. So my palms are facing this way and my, they're trailing down my legs. Yeah. And then you just bend your knees a tiny bit. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, should I repeat the lunge? Yeah. Six, <laughs> five, three, three, two, are you up for it? One, yep. In back into the lunge. Sorry, Elizabeth. You can repeat your triceps, they will not die if you repeat the same series. Arms up, next to your shoulders, but actually no, arms down. Press back, open through the shoulder, activate your triceps and drop down, one. Two, three, four, squeeze your butt on the leg that's back, five, Six, we're not gonna do the holds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, change sides. Like that. Oh, sister Elizabeth can't do a part of oh, sorry, Elizabeth. And pressing down one, two, three, four, good point. Okay, good point. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last part of the series, grab your yoga blocks. Whew. This time we go down a little bit further. Let's hold our arms back into this position so we keep on working our biceps, slightly bend the knees, Go down a little bit further. Obviously, those of you with knee problems, you take it to your point that you can. Drop it down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One, shoulders open, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nearly there, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna go to the wall, we're gonna take our blocks, we're gonna do a tiny little calf blitz. Now, Chelsea, though, Chelsea mainly, those of you that do not wanna do your calves, okay, your alternative is you can get down on the floor and do 16 spiders. <laughs> Josie just kicked her yoga block. So those of you that don't want to do the calves, we're going to do 30 in parallel, 30 in turnout. That's all. Your spider looks like this. Six crosses. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breath in seven. Extend out eight. Bring the hands back in. The lumbar stays nice and flat on the mat. Cross one, two, three. Four, five, six, in seven, and out. That's your alternative. Everyone else, come to the wall, grab your blocks, holding onto your wall, taking your feet into a parallel position on your yoga block, please. Elizabeth, if you want to do your calves and you don't have a block there, you can just do them with your feet flat on the floor. Flat on the floor. Okay. Parallel position, drop it down. Find a position that's comfortable for your feet. Lift it all the way up, one. Squeeze those glutes, two. Three. Four. Five. Six, bellies back. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, last 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we rotate the legs. Oh, hang on a second, let's just have a small break. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we take it back on the block, rotate them. So we're in a turned out position. I don't even know whether this is possible on the block. You have to get your feet back a little bit more so you can drop your heels down. And lifting up in turn out. One. Two. Belly's back. Three. If it's too awkward on your block, just come off your block. Keep your legs nice and straight, Georgia. Do not bend at the knee. Yeah. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those inner thighs. Lift those diaphragms. Belly's back. Pelvic floor's up. How are you going there, Charles? How many more? Eight. Four. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And rest. Oh, okay, we're going to come up onto the yoga block. Chels, come up and join us. This bit's nice. You're going to put your foot, your right, or the foot that's on the block is going to come more or less just with the toes or the ball of the foot. The heel's going to come back down to the floor. The other foot is going to come in front of the yoga block. And then you're just going to lean forward into a lovely calf stretch. Oh, that feels good. Don't know about anyone else, but my body is shaking. Changing sides. This has become my new favorite stretch. Foot goes on, other foot comes forward. Come in, kiss the tree. Ever so important muscle to stretch out. Okay, come back to the wall. Come back with your weights. Parallel position. Into a normal squat. Separate the feet so the knees are aligned with the hips. Wait for everyone to get to their wall. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Bring your arms out in front and hold. 30 seconds. Keep lifting up through the belly. Palms are facing your face. Keep on drawing that belly back. Woo! Anyone counting? Mandy, good. And stop. Oh, rest. Give it a shake around. New one against the wall. I've never done it. Chelsea, you can have a little calf rise. Your choice. You don't have to do it. You can hold it. I'm taking my weights away because I just need to focus on the exercise which I've never done before. We drop back into our little cut, uh, into our little quad stretch, a quad workout, and then we lift one heel, and then we drop the heel, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Ah, oh, not so difficult. 
any on each side. Ooh, starting to get more difficult. Ooh, starting to warm those quadriceps up. How many have we done, Mandy? Nine. Oh. Halfway. Halfway. Goodness me, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, ten. I thought it was going to pump my calves. Not doing anything to my calves. Just making my quadriceps hurt. Oh.
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. What are you doing? I'm fifty on each. Two. Yeah, that's um, three. That's going up, right? Four. Fifty on each. Yeah. Oh. Six. We're only halfway. Crikey. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Thank God for Mandy. Halfway. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Anyone want me to tutor their children for maths? <laughs> Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it makes me laugh when I think when I was in Fonz counting and the neighbours downstairs because all the windows were open can hear me counting and asked if I would teach their children Spanish. God bless them. Clearly they couldn't speak English and didn't realise how... Couldn't count. <laughs> couldn't count and how incredibly Australian my English sounds and do they really want their little Spanish children sounding like me? Seven. Eight. Eight. Is this it? Nine. And ten. Great. Come down to the floor. Take a head pillow if you want comfort. Um, can I have a head pillow? Okay, we continue with our we continue with our triceps. Bring the arms up. Make sure that your shoulders are nice and aligned with your elbows and your hands. Everything is in perfect alignment. You do not um, move the elbow. You bend the forearm and you extend from the tricep. One. Two. Three. Draw your shoulders away from your ears, Madhu. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, I've lost them. Two. So that is click on the zoom. Someone just called from the United States and rest. Five second rest. <clears throat> okay, so the next one, my my palms are my, my weights are resting on top of my chest. My palm is facing Enrique Granados. 
I'm then going to open my arms up to a wider position, a little bit wider than my shoulders. So it looks like that. A diamond. A di it's not, it's not a diamond. It's a, it's a V. A V. A V. Okay. Victory press. Nice and slow. Palms are facing the street. <coughs> Weights resting on top of the shoulders. Find your back muscles. Elongate out one. Think of using <coughs> all of your back. Think of using mostly that tricep muscle. This is a tricep exercise. And now is a lovely time to those of you that like that diaphragm lift. You could allow your belly to relax down now. You could suck that little ball all the way up under your diaphragm. Hold the diaphragm up and then let the abdominals contract while you hold that diaphragm up. If you wanted. If not, you just hold your normal Pilates brace. My fees are very low for tutoring children if you want to use my services. <laughs> 10. And rest. Take the hands again into the chest. Then you push up. And then you pull back down using the triceps. So my palms are like that. You push up and pull down. Bit of pec action. Little bit of pec, little bit of back, little bit of tricep. And two. Three. Four. Five. Again, those of you that like that diaphragmatic lift, here's a great exercise just to kind of practice letting the belly relax down. Rolling the little golf ball all the way up to your ribs. Feeling the diaphragm lift, holding it, and then contracting the abs while maintaining that diaphragmatic lift. small rest. We're going to go one weight, both hands. We take the arms all the way over the head. Elbows slightly bent. Elbows are slightly bent. Then we bend the elbow and we extend. One. Two, three, four. So we're working the tricep but in a different angle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten, and rest. Now I'm not. I'm going to wait <clears throat> until the end of the class. I've got a little plank series that we're going to do. So I'm going to give you the opportunity, Elizabeth, when we when we get to that section, because I know you're not going to like the planks at all. You can do your Aussie Ballet series when we do that. We're going to do a little bit of an abdominal blitz, and then we're going to go into the plank series, and then we are finished. So take your pillows away. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what we're going to do, and then we're just going to go bang, 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 bang without stopping. So we're going to start with 10 head lifts, very easy, crunches. We then go into tabletop, 10 more. We then alternative, arm, alternative legs, 10 more on each side. Then, so we've done 10, 10, 10, 10. Then we're gonna stay up there. We're gonna extend this leg out. We're gonna hold this one up. And we're going to do 10 extensions. Then we're going to do 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way, come down, 10 crosses. And then we're going to do it all on the other leg. Everyone remember that? Without stopping. Without stopping. Right. Without stopping. Look at Jay, she's like this. Really? Are we really going to do that? Yes, we really are. <coughs> Everyone ready? <coughs> Sounds good in theory. Let's see how we go. <coughs> okay, here we go. And lifting up one. <coughs> no, two. No. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now, if it's starting to irritate your neck, you can just hold your neck up and just hold the contractions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, those of you that don't want to keep coming up and down, you can just hold the contraction here and extend the leg. Everyone else, we're going to drop down. We lift the leg and extend one. Extend two, changing sides. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Alternative, you can hold your head and shoulders up or you can drop your head and shoulders for the, for the whole series now. Extend the right leg out, one, bring it back. Extend it, two, don't drop the head and shoulders, you either stay up or you stay down. Four, five, six, seven, we're going to hold that leg out there, eight on the tenth count, nine, ten, and circles, one, two, three, four, you're not cheating if you want to keep your head and shoulders down, in fact it makes it a little bit harder on your lower abs, nine, ten, reverse it, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oblique twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oblique twist. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got a ten second break in between leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs up. Find your position. Extend the leg out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And oblique twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay, now we're going to do a little plank series. Hello, Jack. Jack, you've got, your, time. You've got your times confused. I'm going to pop you on mute, Jack, but you're about an hour late. Okay, so Elizabeth, here's your opportunity, Elizabeth, for you to do your inner thigh series. Anyone else that does not want to do plank series, you do not have to do this, okay? These two are new for me, so I, obviously you're going to feel, you're going to hear me complaining and grunting and groaning. We, goodbye Nikki. So, the basic, basically you've got to have a nice wide position with the legs. I did this with you in mind, um, <clears throat> Anella and Esmeralda, I thought you'd like this, and Paul. This hand here, this one over here that's balancing, is going to be rotated that way. Okay, Ooh. this one here is out. We then twist, we hold, we come back, we twist back, and we hold. Okay, Ooh. <sighs> we're going to... Oh, 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 we're going to try this for five on each side. And then we've got another little plank thing to do afterwards. Let's see how we go. What do you say, Mandy? Four minutes. We've got four minutes. So we go a nice wide position with our feet. Legs. Got to be wide. Rotate the arm that we're going to be resting on. Take the other arm out to the side. Rotate it open. Hold. Rotate back. Open, hold, rotate back. Open, hold, rotate back. Open, hold, rotate back. Last one. Hold, Ooh. rotate back, rest. Oh, it's quite tough on the, uh, quite tough on the old elbow underneath. Very tough. Without a nice soft mat. Do you want a pillow? Uh, yeah, maybe if you've got a pillow, it might make it a little bit more comfortable on that on that underneath arm if you feel like you need it. Okay, here we go into our position. Make sure your feet are wide. Take your arm to the side. Open, hold, rotate back. Open and hold, rotate back. Open and hold, rotate back. Open, hold, rotate back. Last one, open, hold, rotate back, rest. Are you getting better at them as you go along? Yeah, it's just finding the position on the, finding the position on the arm because my mat's really hard. Okay, so the next one. 
We come into a push-up position. Feet are wide. We drop down. We come back up. We drop down. We come back up. Five, five, five and five. All done with Paul, Esmeralda and Anella in mind. So enjoy it. I know how much you guys like planking. Here we go. I'm getting the, I'm getting the bird from up the top. Wide positions. Here we go. Drop. Back. Drop. Back. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Oh. Change. You might want to just change that to ten. <laughs> One. Oh. Two. Three. Oh, I don't think I can do another round after this. Four. Five. Rest. I'm going to have to work on them. Don't know that I can do another set. And I think that's it for class, guys. <laughs> okay. Paul, Paul and Vic and the... Anella and Paul, you can do another set when we come off screen. As Marobi, you can as well. I know you can. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs>